Great to see you guys again Tuesday, 23rd of June. Feeling good? I hope uh, your weekend was enjoyable. Isn't it great? We are another step closer to spring. Yay, let's get excited because there's things happening. Uh, folks, uh, no song today. Uh, Bible verse to reflect on and what we're going to do from the 5th of July uh, and how you can be involved in the part you can play. So uh, let me just share you right up front. Uh, some words uh, from the Apostle Paul under the believer's freedom in 1 Corinthians 10, verse 23. Uh, we read this, I have the right to do anything you say, but not everything is beneficial. I have the right to do anything, but not everything is constructive. I want to say that to you and use that as a lens as we move into what we're going to do from the 5th of July. Yes, the Apostle Paul in that part of scripture has a lot to say about how you apply that to food. But towards the end of that chapter, he adds this, which is really there for all of us to understand. And he says this in verse 31, same chapter, 1 Corinthians chapter 10. So whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. And I want to echo that, that what we're doing, whatever we do, however we do it, we can try lots of things, but not everything is helpful. Not everything is beneficial. Uh, you'll have all sorts of ideas and opinions about what we should do. Good on you. Not everything is constructive. So uh, let me give you uh, the answer to your question about well, what are we doing on the 5th of July? So here are the services we're going to run on the 5th and 12th of July only. That's right. Two Sundays, uh, four services with two extra bits, and I'll get to that in a moment. And then we'll reassess how it's going because there's much to consider. And I've been res wrestling with this for the last few days about what's best, what's appropriate, what works well. Uh, and so here's what we're going to do. We're going to continue to live stream uh, at 10 o'clock. On the 5th of July, you're able to come and also be part of that service on the 5th of July, 10 o'clock. We're going to also have a five o'clock evening service. I'm moving it from six to five just for the first two Sundays in July. Uh, one of the reasons behind that is because more and more restaurants and cafes are being opened, it does allow others to go out and connect after that. So 5th of July, uh, two services, 10 o'clock. It'll be live in present and live streamed and five o'clock. Added to the 10 o'clock service, we're going to run a kids ministry. Uh, and you also can connect with that. Eight o'clock, we're still going to pre-record and put up a broadcast at eight o'clock on a Sunday for the first two Sundays in July. We will assess how this is going uh, in the first uh, week of July, but we want to start slowly. That shouldn't be new to you. I've kept saying it over and over again. I want to be wise with what's going on around us. Yes, you too, like I, have heard the change in the Victorian situation. In New South Wales, restrictions have been lifted, yay, but in Victoria, they've been pulled back and I don't want to just jump and do everything. We have to be mindful of that. How do I come along on the 5th of July and the 12th of July? This is what you do. You go to our website, Fig Tree website. You go to services on that website and you register for one of those services, either on the 5th or on the 12th. I'm so excited that you want to come to both. I'm asking you to register for one. 10 o'clock, now if you're a family member, you can go to the 10 o'clock service. There'll be a separate tab there for kids service, so you can register your kids for that as well. And then five o'clock, you can go and register to come along. Uh, now I'm gonna ask you, and I'll make this clearer on Thursday, when you gather on the 5th and the 12th, there are things that you can bring. You can come along with your gracious attitude, you can come along with your smiling face, you can come along with your energy and your desire to learn from God. There are some things you don't need to bring. You don't need to bring your singing voice. You don't need to bring your handshakes or your hugs or your high fives. There are things you don't need to bring. We'll be asking people to help out in terms of rostering and cleaning services. And we'll say more about that in the coming few days. But that's good news. So we're going to get back together. Uh, the band's getting back together. 5th of July, 12th of July, two services. Uh, on each day, uh, plus a kids activity. You can register to come to one of those and then we'll open up a bit more as we see how this goes. This will give us all a chance to work out the protocols, how do we clean, how do we connect, all those things. And there's gonna be some things you can do post both those services and I'll share that with you on Thursday. 
So that's good news. I thank you for your prayers and your encouragement. I look forward to seeing you soon face to face. But don't forget, you can register from Thursday of this week. Go online, Fig Tree website, and away we go. Uh, brothers and sisters, great to talk to you. And I'm very much looking forward to that day when we see each other face to face. Take care and God bless.